hi welcome back to my channel this is your girl Tracy and as you can see I'm once again utilizing my car anyways let's get right into it and let me remind you all what to do like I always do like comment share and subscribe don't forget turn the notification buttons on because you hear it first so just a moment ago I was in a store and this has been something I've always wondered and I've always think about and thought about. So, while I was standing in the store, there were three girls who came in. And they were just talking Apparently, they were shopping. One of the girls gave out, Oh, I am strictly dickly. And as women, you know, the, um, I believe they were having conversation, even though it was a public place. Um, it didn't sound right, you know. But anyways, who's, who's to say it doesn't sound right? It's not my business. But while I was there and I overheard the entire conversation, I listened to the girl talk about her relationship. And once again, I've always, and I've, I'm a big, I'm an advocate for women who are in bad relationships. Bad relationships. And for some reason, they think it's okay to glorify these relationships. And I've always said, any woman who is in a bad situation need to walk away. Unfortunately, anyways, so that was just my two cents um, to back up what I'm about to say. So while I was there and I overheard the conversation and the other girl was like, the, the, her friend said to her, oh, like, are you still with Paul? You know, that was, that's not the name, but yeah, let's use Paul. Are you still with Paul? And she was like, yeah, I'm not going to leave him. So she was like, y'all had this ugly fight the other day and he gave you a black eye and you had to go into the hospital, yada, yada, yada. And the girl was like, oh, that was, uh, it was my fault. I'm like, what is she talking about? Like, how are you going to justify somebody putting you in the hospital giving you a black eye and and then you're gonna say it was your fault how is it your fault to allow somebody to put you in the hospital give you a black eye and then you turn to your friend oh it's my fault and then when your friend is literally saying to you that's not a good situation doesn't matter what happened you should not be there and this girl went on and on and talking about how strictly dickly she is and how this and that. But apparently her friend is gay and she was basically trying to shade her friend, you know. And I'm saying to her, I'm saying to myself, what is this? Like, your friend is basically looking out for you, looking out for your interests. You know, thank God for at least there's one good friend in this world that I literally see, which is really, really um, an eye opener, you know, that, yeah, there are still good people. And your friend is literally trying to look out for the girl. Like the friend was basically telling her, listen, you are not going to make it out alive from that situation you're in. Because apparently the relationship is very tumultuous. And she was just going on and on and on about the guy and how good the guy is and the guy's that and the guy's this. And she was just going on and on. No, bum, I was standing in the line. The phone rang. <laughs> let me tell you, ladies, let me tell you something. If you have a brain at all, please use it. The phone rang. And apparently she had the phone on speaker. Or she put the phone on speaker when the phone rang. And the guy called. The guy was on the other side of the phone. And the guy was basically calling her all kind of names. 
B, where are you? B, come and get your kid. B, I got to go. B, you need to be. B, 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 you need to get it. B, I'm going to leave the kid here. B, I'm going to do this. B, I'm going to. I'm like, huh? But you are just running around here talking about Strictly Dickly. And I am here to tell, listen to me. Enough, enough of this Fright and Friday business about Strictly Dickly. What y'all need to be strict about women who are stupid or who doesn't have a brain to think. Stop running around talking about Strictly Dickly. Be strict about the way you are being treated. Be strict about the way you are being spoken to. Be strict, to, be strict about your, 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 um, your bills. Be strict about the roof over your head. Be strict about your ambitions. Be strict about uh, achieving. Be strict about to be in your own lane. Make sure nobody don't talk to you in your, in your own. Nobody can't step, no step on you. Nobody can disrespect you. Nobody can just talk to you. Any anywhere, and nobody just can't disrespect this the old disrespect. These are the things that I must be strict about. Be strict about how somebody is gonna love you, how kind they're gonna be to you. Dick is not gonna do it. It's basically being you ought to be strict. You ought to be strict, women. You ought to be strict about the way. An individual is going to treat you. The level of respect. The way they talk to you. Remember, love do not hurt. Love do not hurt. Love should not be depressing. Love should not be painful. Love should be effortless. Love should be kind. Love is an action. And if someone is talking to you, calling you names... Giving you a black eye, putting you in the hospital. And you have one good friend. One good friend. Who realize your situation is dire. And you're running around out here talking about, oh, I'm strictly dickly. I'm strict. Listen. Full, t full time y'all get become wise. Open your eyes, your brain, and get a little ambition. Because obviously, for this guy to have the audacity to literally, number one, he ought to know you are around your friends. And he is just a being you from yes to yonder. He is just calling you B, 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 B. It's like the amount of B this man called this girl on the phone. And you can hear the poor babies in the background crying. And on top of it all, she was just yelling and screaming and carrying on in the, in the store, on the phone with this very same guy, she running around talking about how good he is and how much of whatever happened, it was her fault. And she's so strictly dickly. I couldn't, I just couldn't understand. She, she was actually shedding her friend who was basically saying to her, girl, open your eyes, you're stupid and you're dumb. And you need to get yourself away from the death trap that you are in. Because obviously the friend saw that she's in a dead trap. You understand? And it's so sad. And I'm saying to y'all ladies. Stop running around out here talking about you're so strictly dickly. You're so strict. Listen. Be strict about whomever you're going to be with. Who's going to treat you well. Who's going to be respecting you. Who's going to show you love. Who's going to talk to you like a woman. Should be spoken to. Not degraded. Open your eyes. And if you have children. There's no way your children. Should be hearing disputes. Or hearing a man calling you. Out of your name. 
your children are the one who will go out and exhibit this kind of behavior in schools, in public places, in churches. And then the same thing can happen when your child start act out at school. Then you're going to act as if you don't know where the behavioral problems are coming from. It's from your homes. It is from your homes. If you don't want to protect yourself, protect your little ones. You chose to bring these offsprings into this world. Therefore, I believe you should protect the offsprings. If you don't care about yourself, think about the innocent being that you are responsible for. You chose to bring them here. And I think as women, we should be like a hawk when it comes down to your children. You should not have your child in any environment that is going to make them unhappy. That's going to teach them bad behavior. That's going to see you depressed. You understand me? Your child should look up and look up to you like as if you're a role model. And having somebody in their space who is willing to be little you in front of their children and the poor children are just crying in the background. That is bad. And again, ladies, let me tell you something what you should be strict about. Again, let me say it again so it can register. Please be strict about the way whomever you're going to be with, respecting you. Be strict and respect. Be strict and how you're going to be loved. Be strict and how you're going to be treated. Be strict about ensuring you have your own roof. Be strict to make sure you have your own. You can either drop your kid off to a nanny or you can have a nanny built in your house. You can hire a nanny. These are the things you need to be strict about. Be strict about your bank book. Be strict about your ambition. When you talk about strict, be strict about those things. Stop strict, being strict about freaking dick. It's ridiculous, it's stupid, and you sound dumb. On top of that all, you are being disrespectful, be, being disrespected and belittled. You're being treated like basically the scum under your shoe. Only because you are so stupid, you're so ridiculous, and your mind, your mind is so underdeveloped. Your brain is not developed. Because you chose that. You have to choose to elevate yourself, ensure your self-esteem is at a level where you are able to Think smart, act smart, believe in yourself, be thoughtful. Remember, you have an offspring. Your self esteem is at something we're supposed to lift you up. You're supposed to hold it in eye. When you have eye. When you have high self esteem, nothing is more important than a high self esteem. And if you sit around with a man, you're running around talking about you're so strictly dickly with, and he's actually. Basically bringing you down and walking all over you like a doormat. That's a problem. That's a problem. I, re I really had to jump in here to talk about this. Like, <laughs> I, I don't know. Maybe I have to get a sign on my forehead or, or, or be a walking billboard. That's a woman, if you're in a bad relationship, get out or something that says danger because apparently these women don't realize that being in a bad relationship it doesn't matter how strict you're being about a dick it's time for you to run when it's time to run i don't know enough of me blabbering I hope you enjoy this video and I hope whomever needs to hear this really hope in your ears and listen and take heed. Okay? Anyway, I got to go. Remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget, turn the notification buttons on. You hear it first.